My Nigerian youths have been charged to be hopeful, be friendly with one another, unite, cast a vision for Nigeria, and be determined to fulfill that vision because they come together. They, when they come together, they can determine the fate and direction and destination for the country. This charge was handed down by Pastor Itwa Igo Dalem, who was a keynote speaker at the 2023 International Friendship Day held in Lagos. He stated that the future of Nigerian youths is here and they must work hard and be determined to build a great Nigeria. International Friendship Day is an annual celebration that acknowledges and cherishes how it friends make life better. People, it's a great country, that Nigeria has a great future, that the country belongs to them. They must make sure that they are friends and they are friendly with one another. They must try and unite, cast a vision for Nigeria and be determined to fulfill that vision because their time is virtually here. And if they come together, gather the numbers together, they can determine the faith and the direction and the destination for Nigeria. So they should be hopeful, but they must have diligence, they must have discipline, they must be righteous people, they must be ethical people, they must be determined to work hard, and they must be determined to build a great Nigeria. With that kind of thing behind them and with the Lord Almighty, everything will turn around for Nigeria. So keep faith and be hopeful. Friendship is not something people talk about a lot and it's one of the most important aspects of a man's journey. Um, you can go way ahead in life if you have good friends. You can drop bad habits if you have good friends. You can pick up good habits if you have good friends. So I, I just you know, wanted it to um, be popular it's not something people, not until recently, the people start singing about it, talking about it. So I just wanted to, you know, share my thoughts on friendship and then teach people because I also believe that whatever you don't know, you can learn if you are willing to learn. Um, being open and remembering that, you know, the word of God says that it's, it's a soft word, a soft word can even can pierce through a very hard rock. This is me paraphrasing. So I, if you sit down and... Um, what they call it, think things through and talk things through, it's very possible to overcome every form of betrayal. But it's important that you actually talk about things, don't just assume. We, we also heard on stage that it's important that you, it's important that you have, um, what they call it, have it, don't allow such conversation linger for long. Ensure that you have those conversations and close out on it. I'm talking about trust issues when it comes to friendship, um, I think your friend, it depends on the character of your friend. And it also shows, it probably shows your character, probably. You know, it doesn't always mean that you also have a questionable character, right? But hey, if there's a if there's distrust in friend, can it really be called friendship? Because in the dictionary, you know, definition of friendship, there should be trust there. So if there's no trust, I doubt if that is called a friendship. It's just a relationship or an acquaintance or something. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.